Hi, Con. Hey, Paul. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much for having me, Con. <laughs> well, I'm so thrilled that you're with us. I got to tell you, that Extreme Makeover show made me cry a few times. Thank you. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, it certainly did. You and me both, Con. Well, I'll tell you, you were right there, right part of it. What a great show. And now you continue on with the real inspiring show, Second Act on RLTV. Tell us about it. Very excited, Con. Second Act. It's about uh, boomers reinventing themselves, uh, people post-50 that are, are risking it all to follow their passions, follow their, find their purpose. And we're kind of, we're tagging along and telling their story. So whether it's, whether it's a, a, an attorney who had been an attorney for, for 25 years and now wants to be a comedian, we kind of get him set up with the proper schooling, with the proper classes, and then maybe book him a show in New York City at the uh, Gotham Comedy Club and see how he does. So. Our only criteria to, for, the, for our heroes, who I call our heroes, is that they have uh, the courage to do that, that they're really risking it all to go out and do it. Well, you're a philanthropist, TV host, actor, designer. You've had a lot of second acts. Uh, what advice do you usually give people? The advice I give to them is, is go for it. It's, it is, if you, if you have a dream, don't, don't retire that dream. This is the time to go for it, just because we have, now, you know, now is the time we have the experience. We have a little bit of wisdom. So I think it's almost, it may be a little easier even going after that dream because we can really kind of focus in on, on what that dream is. And, and with everything we've learned up to this point, we know what it takes. So that's my advice. My advice is go after it. If you, if you want to learn how to play banjo, and then you get a banjo and, and you start playing. So just go for it. On paper, when you first read the show, it probably sounded very thrilling and exciting and inspiring to you. But since you've started filming it, what has surprised you the most? What surprised me the most is, is watching husband and wife, you know, watching whether it's the, the wife who is going after her dream or whether it's the husband going after their dream, watching that dynamic change with the two of them and, and how one spouse supports the other or how one spouse really, really worries about whether or not, you know, the fact that, that the husband and wife are risking it all, that, you know, honey, wait, 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 you know. You know so I think that's what surprised me is to see, you know, to see these these people who have maybe drifted apart over the last 25 years kind of come together and, and work towards this together, you know, work, work towards one of their dreams, which is, I, I think is, it's, it's wonderful to see and it's wonderful for them to learn. They're learning about one another. So that's what surprised me the most is uh, how, how are the husband and wife reacts. All right, last question for you, Paul. Tell me just a little bit, given your tremendous success, I know your advice has been to just go for it, but tell me about the hard work behind the scenes that has elevated you to your success. The hard, there, there's a lot of hard work. There's, uh, because people are out there working very hard at, at the things they love. And so if you want to be successful in that and, and make a career of that, you have to work extra hard because there, there are other people doing it. And, and luck is so important. I've been blessed with... Uh, with, with how lucky I've been when it comes to working on television, working in the entertainment industry. Even when I was building sets, I was very lucky that I had the opportunity to build sets for Broadway shows. You know, there are so many good carpenters out there. So, uh, you know, Con, luck is, a, luck is a big part of it. But if you're not there, if you're not there and ready, then it's no good. So you want to make sure that you have all the parts in place. You, you know, you want to know how to use your hammer and screwdriver before you go for the job. So it's important to have all those parts working. Well, we're glad that the luck was on your side because we get to enjoy you in so many facets, including this brand new show. Paul, thank you and thanks for being an inspiration. Thank you.